Hey y'all, this is Cindy. I'm the Tireless Tangler. Welcome back. Today's 100 day of Zen Tangle 100 day project uh, pattern is Liebe by Sue Schneider. And it's so interesting that this pattern was chosen for today because I just pinned this on Pinterest like two days ago and uh, it was getting quite a few pins and so I was really interested and the minute I saw it I knew what it was so that was kind of cool um, it's very interesting tangle it's made of thin lines and I'm going to attempt to work with my Microsoft PN in black today um, I don't know if it's gonna be too heavy of a nib for me or not but uh, this is based on a five-sided shape. Uh, what is that, a hexagon? Whatever, it, no, that's a, that's six. I don't know. Anyway, y'all will tell me in comments, I know. So this begins with two uh, slightly curved lines or you can make them look however you like. And they cross but a slight curve towards each other is helpful on this. Then you want to curve one out, add a line, sort of like a, the beginnings of a tic-tac-toe board. Put one that crosses to one side, and then we've got something that looks suspiciously like a Chinese character, which is kind of cool. And then you want to cross the last two to box it in with a line. Okay? And these can look whatever you, way you want. Um, the important thing is the five-sided shape. And so you can curve them around however you want, of course. Um, then the step out has little um, balls or perfs or circles on the end of each whoops on the end of each line yes whoops I forgot one there two wow <laughs> sleeping on the job okay then add an inner aura to the box shape. And there's your pattern in its most basic form. Now to make it continue out and explore like this one, all you need to do is choose one of your lines, decide where you want to go with it. And so I'm going to take this one since it has a little area to work with here. And I'm just going to draw in another line pointed out here. And then I'm going to repeat my pattern here. So now I have two curved lines. And I'm gonna extend this line out in hopes that I can uh, use that here in a minute for another one. Then I've got three of my five sides, so I believe I've just got to, wait, I'm forgetting something. Yes. Is that right? Yes. Let's do it. See what happens. Yep, oh, that's right. Whew! The pressure. Okay, add your little balls or perfs or pearls. And draw your inner aura. And so on. Put
put them in any shape, make them go anywhere you want. Now, um, shading on this is very interesting. Um, oops, hold on. I need a pencil sharpener. Shading on this is really interesting. Uh, in her step out, what she did was she chose uh, one line and one side of that line and then shaded, oops, I forgot a part of it, and then shaded along the one side of the line. Uh, let's see, where's a good example of this? All of these cross here, right here. Here's a good example of that, where I shaded the line on one side all the way across, and then I blend, blended it out. I blended it out. I'm not sure that's appropriate English, but I don't care. Um, so this is how she sort of approached it in her step out. I think there are probably a lot more things that you could do shading wise with this. Um, for example, I'm wondering how this would look if you shaded all four sides on the inside of this triangle and I haven't, or this shape. <laughs> Somebody help me. Sweetie, what's a five-sided shape called? Really? Pentagon. Pentagon. Is that right? Yeah. Pentagon. That's it. Yeah, you have. <laughs> it's a pentagon, and I know you've seen those. So, let's see how this looks. Sort of blend it in towards the center and leave the center light for the highlight. So that really gives it a, a pretty pillowy effect. So um, I kind of think that's interesting. So you could do that uh, on the inside of your shape and still uh, shade right along uh, the side of one of, of one of these lines and continue uh, that too. Um, anything is possible with this. And I really loved how easy it is to draw and the versatility of the pattern. And so uh, I want to uh, really quickly shade along one side of these lines. And sort of give you an idea how much difference the shading makes. It's really cool how 3D it becomes, isn't it? Okay, it's time to put it in the pattern. Let's uh, figure out how to put Libby in the pattern. I'm trying to decide, I think I'll put it right here, and I'm trying to decide um, if I want to put just one shape in here or if I want to really go small and try to do a couple in here and so hmm I'm thinking about it I kind of love the look of them when they're connected so I think I'm gonna try to go really small well at least really small for me and I've switched to my 01 I th let me make sure this is black before I touch this pattern um, yes it's in black so let me actually you know what I'm thinking about putting this right here where we have room or maybe here hmm I think I'm gonna put it over here because it will allow me a little bit of extra room to play with the pattern all right, so I'm going to start with one right here, pointed the way that I want these to go. And I'm going to bow that one out a little bit, make that one kind of wacky. And I'm going to make this a long one. Then, oh, I hope that was in the camera, or in the picture. I wasn't paying attention. Okay, then, 
I want to use this to start my next one. So I'm going to start that pointed this way and add one like that, like that, and like that. And I'm going to cross these over each other so that I don't end up in a point. Oh, you know what? I forgot something important in my, in my uh, drawing part of this. Hi, Simba. You want to say hi to everybody, buddy? Say hi, Simba. Simba, say hi. Woof. Woof. No? All right. He just looks at me when I, when I tell him that. <laughs> He's like that dog on, um, on, oh, what was that old show back in the whenever 90s? God. Uh, Frasier with that dog that used to stare at everybody, Eddie. <laughs> I don't remember anybody else's names, but I remember Eddie. It's because my priorities are straight. You know what I didn't do? I didn't um, connect this one yet, so I need one of my lines to connect over here. Let's use uh, this one. And then... Cross that and uh, let's cross that here and continue. So again, it doesn't look like it ends in a point. Okay, now Simba, yes, I know, I know. I'm going to play with you in just a minute, buddy. Okay, just a minute. Mommy's almost done. All right. So uh, let me go back to uh, how to draw this pattern real quick. I completely forgot something important. Um, when you complete your square or your, oh my God, pentagon, and before you ara it or put the balls on, uh, there is a uh, line weight rounding thing that she's got in it. And, um, change the light here a little bit so that the shadow isn't so bad okay it looks darker but it really isn't there that's a little better okay so actually here we go okay I'm having some issues today have you noticed all right so what you want to do is pick one of the corners in your first pentagon and decide to begin with which side you're going to want to go on and you're going to pick a little corner and you're going to do that rounding thing like that and and give it a little weight right there you go now this is something i'm not particularly good at i i i tend to be kind of sloppy with it but Anyway, something like this, okay? Then you want to go to each um, cross point with the lines and repeat that one time on the same side in the same position that it was on the last corner. So that would make this one here. Does that make sense? And so then as you go, the next one would go here. Sorry, Simba really wants to play right now. And so the next one would go right here. I'm almost done, baby. And right here. Until all five of these corners have been done on the same side in the same way that the first one was done. Then go on to the second. Uh, to the connected ones and um, repeat that process so and do it the same way that you did the first one at least I think that would make a lot of sense so right here right here sometimes I don't give these enough length um, right here right here um, 
Ooh, this confused me for a minute. Right here. And since these, this is the same type of situation, I'm going to put another one right here just to make it interesting. But I don't, I think this is not done on each, um, in each um, little corner. This is not done on each of them purposefully um, to give it a certain look. So let's do the last one. Again, choose the same side or the same side and same corner. And fill those in. I promise I'm wearing my glasses. It just doesn't seem to help today for some reason. And let's see, so that one would have been done and this one is the other one. Okay. And I guess I can do this one down here too. Even though that might be pushing it. Okay. Now, add your inner aura. And that was a really important note because uh, that really gives it a cool look when you're done. Simba is very frisky right now. He is probably going to end up... Mm, now he's bumping me. Probably going to end up right in the middle of my stuff. So let's be patient with him. Chill out, Simba. I know, you've got a new toy. Here, let Mama throw it. Okay, now, uh, the last part is to add the little um, balls, perfs, on the ends. I like to leave a tiny little uh, bit of light. Give them a little bit of a 3D look. I'm going to extend those lines as needed. And this really gives the pattern a really cool look, I think. And the other thing I didn't mention earlier, I think, is the fact that uh, this would make a really interesting pattern for a reticula. Um, meaning that you could fill the, the inner spaces with things, but I don't think it's regular enough to probably count. But it's still an interesting idea. It certainly can be used like that singly. I did try Paradox in one of these uh, pentagon shapes. Uh, mine was kind of awkward and I want to try it again, but I decided not to show it. <laughs> it was, yeah. So, they're a little perf heavy over here. Certainly going to be festive. I kind of like the way this turned out. It's kind of interesting. What do you guys think? Okay, let's shade this bad boy. I think instead of being adventurous, <laughs> I am going to stick with the shading that she had on the step out because I know it's going to look cool. So I'm going to, I always choose the left side to shade on. That way I don't get too confused. And so let me turn this in a way that I've got a left here on all of these. Okay, so I'm going to choose each um, line going this direction and choose one side. And in this case, I'm going to choose the left side. And I'm just going to rub graphite right along that line, trying not to get over. And so... Um, I guess I 
each one of these lines going this direction can be shaded on the same side. And so I think, let's do this one. Oops, I forgot a little burp. And let's do this side here. Okay, and I think we'll shade this one too and see how this turns out. I may do both of these. And this one. I don't know, I may have gone overboard on the shading. Let's uh, blend it and find out. I think I want to start, well, I think I'll just go top to bottom so I'm not rubbing on anything with my hand. Yeah, okay. I don't want to rub this out too much. I don't want it to be emphasized too much. But that might be interesting. I'm not sure I'm happy with that. A little too much graphite down there. I might take off a little bit of that with my mono. Don't tell. A closely guarded secret. There, that's better. I like that better. Okay, so finishing this out. there too but let's actually I don't mind that it's not bad and let's do this one and uh, I kind of like the darker sh more um, I like the, the more shading on this. I like that. So I just did two sides in each one with graphite and then blended that. Okay, this actually looks kind of cool. I really like how it turned out. Yeah, okay, Libby. This is by CZT Sue Schneider. Well, I have to get my German mouth ready to pronounce and I like it a lot. This has been a fun one. Okay, that is it for day, oh my gosh, 16. Holy cow, 16. Today is 16 days of the 100 days of Zentangle. Thank you, and that is Simba's toy. Thank you, Mari. Ruff, ruff. Ruff, ruff. I wanna thank you guys so much for your support on this project, and I can't wait to see uh, all of your art on Facebook and Instagram, please uh, remember to tag me if you think about it at the Tireless Tangler. And I will see you out there and for sure tomorrow. Bye-bye.